The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Eric Colby for BoatTest.com. Today we're doing a full inspection and performance evaluation of the Mako Pro Skiff 21. It may say 21, but this boat feels much bigger and deeper. So let's take a closer look. The Pro Skiff 21 measures 21 feet 4 inches long with an 8 foot beam. She's targeted at coastal anglers who might occasionally head offshore when conditions allow. Two elements that make the Pro Skiff 21 feel bigger than her length are her freeboard and cockpit depth. We measured freeboard at 30 inches at the bow, 25 inches amidships, and 22 inches at the stern. And cockpit depth all the way around is 24 inches. One look at the Pro Skiff 21's bottom made us want to learn more. It's called an Advanced Inverted V or AIV and it starts at the bow with an anti-spray pocket that forces water down underneath the boat. This helps keep the deck dry. The outer edges of the hull sweep down to two outer keels that make up the primary running surfaces. The center keel is higher at the front and it slopes down to the level of the outer keels at the stern. This provides a smooth ride and increases lateral stability. The center of the hull has two clear water channels. They draw aerated, disturbed water above and to the outside of the propeller. This means that cleaner water is delivered to the prop, which provides quicker acceleration and better fuel economy. The hull draws 10 inches, and if an optional jack plate is used, the motor can be run with the propeller in a surfacing position. With two people, 30 gallons of fuel, and test equipment on board, our Pro Skiff 21 weighed an estimated 3,225 pounds. She was powered by a 150 horsepower Mercury 150 EXLPT four-stroke outboard, turning a 14.7 inch by 16 inch inertia three blade stainless steel propeller. She got on plane in three seconds and ran to 20 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds and to 30 miles an hour in 6.1 seconds. Under hard acceleration, we recorded bow rise of about 15 degrees. Once on plane, she rode at about five degrees bow up. Taking a closer look at the numbers, we hit a top speed of 46.6 miles per hour at 5,900 RPM. Best cruise came at 3,000 RPM, where the boat ran 22.4 miles per hour and burned 3.6 gallons per hour. That translated to 6.2 miles per gallon, which gives her a range of 190 statute miles, with 10% of the boat's 34-gallon fuel capacity in reserve. We tested on a flat, calm day. In turns, the outer keels maintain a strong grip, helping bring the boat around in tight arcs. She leaned comfortably into turns and remained relatively flat. We experienced no ventilation. Now let's head into the docks and take a closer look at the Pro Skiff 21's features. Let's start in the bow, which has a closed molded forward deck. The top two cutouts in the steps from the cockpit to the bow have battery trays for the optional trolling motor. The bow area measured 77 inches across. Notice the slightly raised combing all the way around the bow that provides a good boundary that an angler can feel with his foot when working a fish. The three hatches in the deck open to provide access to handy storage compartments. All three hatches close with dual latches. Taking a look at the console, we like that there's a stainless steel rail around the acrylic windshield for support. The backrest and lounge for the console seat are comfortably padded, and the cup holders are cleverly located. In the base of the seat, there's an 18-gallon cooler that can be plumbed as an optional live well. We measured 20 inches between the console and the gunnels. On each side of the console, there are three integrated rod holders. The helm comes standard with a tachometer and fuel and water pressure gauges. There's space for flush-mounted or bracket-mounted electronics and a cup holder to port. The steering wheel is mounted to a fixed base and includes standard hydraulic steering. The accessory switch panel includes a master power button to the lower right. It activates the entire 12 volt system. Mako secures the cranking battery in the base of the console and the battery switch and main circuit breaker are mounted in convenient reach. Two people can sit side by side of the bench style seat at the helm. The hinged cushion opens an insulated roto molded 85 quart cooler. The aft closed molded casting deck is raised two feet and is a big step up. Once up there, an angler has seven feet of beam to walk across from side to side. When we moved from one side to the other, the rail deflected only three inches. The aft jump seats fold up easily and are functional. The 28 gallon live well has a high speed pickup and a 500 gallon per hour pump with an adjustable spray head. A hatch in the splash well ahead of the motor allows access to the 1000 gallon per hour bilge pump and the live well pump. To please a variety of tastes, the Pro Skiff 21 is available in six color wrap options for the hull side. With her deep cockpit and freeboard and open deck space, the Pro Skiff 21 should appeal to coastal saltwater anglers. She's a reasonably priced turnkey package that comes with a live well, six rod holders, and a single axle galvanized trailer. And that wraps up our exclusive look at the Mako Pro Skiff 21. For BoatTest.com, I'm Eric Colby.